because you don't know the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? He is the empty. He is empty Christ who denies the Father and the Son. So, the one who denies the Father and the Son is following the empty Christ. And he will be doomed. The anointing which you have received from him abides in you and you don't need that anyone teach you. It doesn't mean that we don't need Christian teachers in the church. We are badly in need to be taught by God and by his, ser by his servant. But we have no need for the false teaching. Amen? Amen. Uh, but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. And now little the children, abide in him. And when he appears, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his son. In other words, many Christians that everyone who practices righteousness is born of 
Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, if I speak about the richness of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, it's something beyond description. Because the anointing of the Holy Spirit is not just a kind of spiritual intuition or intelligence. It's a supernatural insight bestowed by God to know things of God. Amen. Amen. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, the Bible said that the Holy Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. Amen. And if have the spirit that searches our motive and our inner being. The spirit we have been given by God. He searches the depths of God. The depths of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not to be deceived by man. We are not to be deceived by the false teacher. Because the anointing is, is the spirit of illumination. Many Christians are course, superficial Christians are confused with the Trinity and the secret of the incarnation of Jesus Christ, but I assure you, you will never understand such deep things unless you accept that the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Don't, don't confine God in a box. Amen, amen, amen. He is unlimited. And you can't reach God unless the anointing of the Holy Spirit illuminates your mind. 
In Isaiah in chapter 10, verse 27, the prophet speaks uh, something, um, something very uh, exciting about the anointing. When uh, he was addressing uh, the people, God, when they were uh, taken into captivity, the Lord promised his people that the yoke will be destroyed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 a very particular experience when he 
programs, a million projects. They have many finances. They think that they are rich. They are miserable. They are blind. They are naked. They are poor. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus spoke to the church of Samaria saying, I know your prayer. And your poverty, so you are rich. He was poor, but he was rich. And he was willing to fight <coughs> into death for the sake of Jesus. Hallelujah. How many of you? Thank <laughs> you. 
Glory. How many of you acknowledge in the presence of God that all his tribulations were to, to his good?
Hallelujah. 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 H